Roe v. Wade is overruled. It is done. The false right to abortion has been eliminated, and states are now free to protect human life. Since Roe was issued nearly 50 years ago, over 63 million American children have been killed by the abortion industry, a devastation of incalculable proportion. This decision to end Roe v. Wade will save millions of lives. But here's the key point. The end of Roe means the pro-life movement's work intensifies. We have a long way to go before we make abortion unthinkable in our nation and worldwide. And we have a massive road ahead towards building a culture of life. Even though Roe is overruled, many states will continue to legalize and even subsidize the killing of our nation's most vulnerable. My state of California, Illinois, Oregon, New York, the list goes on. The killing in those states will continue. We will not have true justice until our nation acknowledges that under our Constitution, every American born or pre-born has an inherent right to life, protected by our Constitution's 14th Amendment. The 14th Amendment to the United States Constitution says, no state shall deprive any person of life, liberty, or property without due process of law, nor deny to any person within its jurisdiction the equal protection of the laws. All human beings are persons under the Constitution, which means abortion should be constitutionally prohibited and all human life protected nationwide. So here's the game plan for the road ahead. Five things. First, we must work at both the state and federal level for complete legal protection for children in the womb. We must work with state and local legislatures to protect all human lives and enact policies that support parents and children. Second, we need an active ground game we need to set up sanctuary cities for the preborn in hostile states. This is where a city outlaws abortion within its own jurisdiction. Also, we need to minister outside abortion facilities and redirect women to life-affirming pregnancy resource centers. Block out days in your week where you can go to the abortion facility with your friends, your church groups, and your ministry to help parents choose life and peacefully put pressure on the facility to close. Third, we need digital activism. Look, you can make America pro-life very easily right now. We have concrete actions for you to click on right after this video is done. The first thing you can do is share our Olivia video on fetal development or our What is Abortion videos on social media. These are statistically proven through market research to change hearts and minds in abortion, to change people from pro-choice to pro-life. We are going to see an awakening when people grapple with the reality of what abortion is, the poisoning to death, lethal injection, and dismemberment of innocent children. When people learn the truth about abortion, they change. We've seen it. Watch and share our Pro-Life Reply series, which responds to every major pro-choice talking point. Sign up to be a live action ambassador and receive regular action items to advance the pro-life cause. Fourth, support pregnancy resource centers and charities that help mothers and fathers. Give generously to your local life-affirming pregnancy center or pro-life organization. Volunteer and get trained to help yourself if you can. Fifth, we need a love-based, commitment-based, sexual ethic in this country. According to the New York Times, 86% of women who have abortions are unmarried. 60% already have a child. Abortion culture is actually downstream from hookup culture and shack up culture. The solution is love and respect that we all deserve and sex only in the context of lifelong love and commitment. Strong marriages make strong families and sex belongs within strong marriages. That has to be our sexual ethic. Our nation can be a land of limitless potential. What does potential mean? It means looking forward to our posterity, our legacy, our future. Our potential is our children. Children are our future. Let us cherish our children. Let us celebrate the children. The choice is before us. What will we choose? The law or anarchy? Justice or injustice? A future of life? or a future of death. And let me tell you, a future of death is no future at all. Roe v. Wade is finished, and the work of the pro-life movement is just getting started. Let's be the generation that says, enough, and makes abortion not only illegal, but unthinkable.